going to be a tutorial on how to make a paracord quick release jig. You can pick this up at your local Walmart for about $4.98 and it's 50 foot long. These are the tools that you're going to need to make uh, the frame of the paracord jig. So, you need a block of wood, two skewers, and a drill. Alright, um, so pretty much you take this, it's a hand drill, and you just go like that, and you make a hole deep enough for these. I don't know what size this is, but it's big enough for these. So, we're going to pause the video here, and then um, when we're done making the two holes, I'll come back and we'll show you. We apologize for this, but we just finished drilling the two holes, but to add the skewers in there, um, you would need some uh, wire cutters and a hammer to uh, hammer those two skewers in there so it can be nice and sturdy and stay in. Alright, so one side of it is like a circle pretty much, and then the other side is pointy. You don't really want the pointy side because, you know, if you mess up and stab yourself or whatever, and you don't need it this long, so I cut it about a third of the size, and then just... And you get a pretty alright circle. So then just throw those on the side. You use it for something else maybe. And then it's, it's perfect. There you go. Now you got two of the same size. And then you just want to hammer those in. So. And you also don't want the pointy side uh, upwards because of the hammer. It's not going to hammer in very well. Now with the flat head. It's easier to hammer in there, and it can stay nice and sturdy. Um, I mean, it's not really sturdy right now, but you could probably put some glue on the on the skewer and just put it in uh, some hot glue or some some cement. Um, not cement, but just cement glue. But um, yeah, you could do all those things, and then we'll be back when we get all this nice and sturdy, and we'll start working on how to put the paracord together. Okay, so we couldn't find any cement glue or any glue in the first place. So uh, what we did was that's just our template. As you can see, it does not stay in. The holes was too big. Um, but, yeah, you get the point. Um, so now we're going to be using the ones that we've already drilled in, and they're perfectly sturdy, and the skewer's already in there perfectly. So we're going to start working on the paracord um, jig, and uh, we'll get started. So first you want to obviously unwrangle your paracord uh, from the from the wire cutter. or With the wire cutter, you can use that so you can get rid of the wires that they put onto it. Or some scissors, whatever works for you. And then you get a five foot long paracord. Fifty. Oh, fifty feet. Jesus. <laughs> five to fifty. That's a big difference. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yep, it's, it is right here. Any right. size that you get will work anyway. Yeah. Uh, we're only gonna use about like ten feet. So, uh, we're gonna pause it real quick and find out what ten feet is. So, all right, we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so we cut the paracord up to 53 inches, and don't use scissors guys, because when you're handling with paracord, it could be very dangerous, The um, it's very, very tough, so when you use scissors, it could break, so I'd recommend just using some wire cutters, because they're a lot more sharp and a lot more efficient, so use those when you're cutting paracord, because they're very tough, and you also want a lighter for this uh, for this part. So, as you can see, all this, like, fiber inside so. is all hanging out, so if you take the lighter... And you just light it right there. You just make it into like that or whatever. Just like twist up. Twist it. And then you light it. And then it melts into uh, place. And then just. And again, it's very, very hot, so uh, try not to just stamp it. <laughs> so you want to do that to both sides because obviously both sides are very rough from the. Uh, what was it from the paracord from cutting it? Um, well, yours most likely is, but this side, we, this is the side that we didn't even cut that side. So, so this is good. this came right out of the box, so uh, that's already perfectly cut. So, um, and then you can always take your wire cutters again and just snip that. Yeah, and like make it all good feeling, so you don't poke yourself and hurt yourself or anything. Because when you do light it, it gets very very stiff and sharp. So, watch out. I would always remember, if you're younger... Um, don't play with... Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't play with lighters if you're younger. Obviously, have a parent with you. You don't want to burn yourself or anything. We don't really need a parent with us, obviously, but because we're old enough... To know that fire is not fun to play with. <laughs> yeah, that kind of burnt my fingers a little bit, whatever. 
Um, so now we're going to get started on the actual knotting of the paracord or putting it around the skewers. And uh, we're just going to zoom in a little bit over here and let's get started. Alright, so at first you want to take it and go about to like the end. I have a small piece, but just take about like two inches, maybe one and a half inches, and then fold it a little and make a knot in it. So that's good right there. You don't have to make it too tight because you're going to have to unravel that at some point. But now you take it and you go like, and you do a figure eight until, so you just keep doing figure eight and then you can just push it down and keep doing that until it's just about done. So we're going to cut it right here and then we'll come back when it's all good. Alright guys, so uh, we just finished doing the figure eight. You don't want to do it all the way, you want to keep a, a pretty good sized piece. Um, and you also, as as you go on, as you can see, it kind of brings it up, and uh, you want to make sure it stays down nice and stiff, make sure that they all stay together, and uh, that just makes it for nice, more stiff, and much more nicer to use, and looks better than having yeah. it all over the place. And make sure you do it sort of tight, because if you don't do it tight, it's going to come out looking like poop. Uh, ours looks alright so right now, but once we get it out, and we start making it, uh, once we get it out and we start making it, like, we start doing the loops, which is the next part, it'll start coming out good. Oh, and make sure when you're doing this, hold this piece for a few seconds after you do a few loops because all the pressure will pull this in and you don't want that to happen because then you have to restart. Especially if you have a lot of cord, like if you're doing 50 feet, then, yeah. But the way, usually they when you buy them, they come like this already, so there's no point in undoing it. So. But, yep, that's pretty much it. So now we're gonna. Paracord is fairly cheap, so you guys can buy a pretty big sized piece. And plus, I like the color scheme, black and red, it looks really good. So I mean, when you're doing it, it looks pretty, pretty good. So now you gotta take it, make sure it's all lined up, because you don't want it to look like crap. And then take one side and you start doing this, pretty much just looping it all around. It's kind of hard to do it at first. But once you start getting a few loops, it's just wicked easy. We have a problem here. <laughs> uh, used a little bit too much when we were doing it, so this isn't that hard to undo. You just got to find where it was and then just take a little bit out. And now it looks like we'll have enough, so just take it. Start doing it, and if you want it to be perfect, obviously keep undoing it and um, undoing it and keep doing it again so like again we messed up so but yep that's pretty much it so we're gonna cut it here we'll come back when it's all good alright so we just looped all the uh, the paracord all around it looks pretty good um, that's what it should look like in the end view um, so yeah now that it's all wrapped up um, I think you have to knot it at the end, I, I never mm. made one of these, um, so this is kind of new to me, so I'm kind of learning as I go. But it seems pretty simple to make. You can make it at home, and it just seems very simple. So, right. so pretty much, it's, this is the easiest part, obviously. You just take this and lift one of these up and pop it under there. And then you got it. And then right here, you want to unravel it. Unravel the knot. And you can make... Um, a knot for your carabiner. It's, uh, hold on, I'll, I'll do that one more time so you can actually see how to do it. So you just take it, you put it behind it, make like a normal knot, but then you put it again in between this, and then just make it tight, so. And then just pull it down a little. And then you got a hole so you can put your keychain on it or something. Yeah, your carabiner, your keychain. We have a carabiner upstairs, but I'm sure you guys all know what a carabiner looks like. If not, leave it in the comment section. And we'll do and a video. We'll on it. buy a few and show you guys. Maybe give away a few. Also, um, thanks for watching. And if you did enjoy, make sure to hit the like button on this video. Check out our other videos as well. Um, battery's getting low on this camera, so we're gonna have to hit it. Uh, hit the stop record button so thanks for watching it's very simple you can put it on uh 
your keychain, whatever you can put in your uh, survival kit. Like I said, per course pretty cheap, four ninety nine for fifty f uh, or like I think it was three ninety eight, three eighty eight for that. Yeah, no, it's four ninety eight. Uh, 498 for uh, a 50 foot paracord so that's very long and you can make a whole bunch of these things so oh and before we end I just for we forgot to say this is four feet and five inches long yeah or 53 inches oh and then pretty much the easiest thing just pull that little knot and boom you got all your cord all right <laughs> catch you guys later peace